is Matt with Mobility 101, and right now we're going to be branching off the previous video. Uh, we're going to be working more on how to add mobility and movement to your hand and arm positioning uh, to enhance your performance, whether you're moving, running, or sprinting. Uh, the first little mobility drill I'd like to add is uh, you're in quadruped, so that means you're on all fours. So, you, so imagine I'm in quadruped and I put my hands, my fingers, facing back toward my body. Or that's, the, that's, that's what you're aiming for. If you can't get there, that's fine. If your hands end up being a little more splayed out like this and not so much here, that's fine as well. But the goal is to have them, try to have them facing toward your, uh, your body. Once you're there, so you're in quadruped on all fours, the first one would be to rock side to side, uh, distributing your weight onto the left arm and then more onto the right arm, just side to side, between 10 to 20 times per side. And then the next, next position in quadruped would be going back and forth. So distributing my weight forward and then backward, forward and then backward. Branching off of the mobility drill, I'd like to touch upon a, a, a more of a movement-based drill. Um, so you're in a seated position and working on arm action. So I'll show you both from the side and the front. So the first one would be, well, the cues would be, so legs are flat from your hips to your head is flat. So that whole notion of having a broomstick from head to hips, so nice, organize your spine, tuck your chin slightly to your chest. Don't let your ribs flare up. <clears throat> Um, if, you're, if your legs bounce a little bit off the ground, that's okay as well, but minimal movement is what we want. So, dollar bills, stay skinny, karate chop. So think single, single exchange, so in a, a single exchange in an arm action would be all the while staying compact. And it's good to kind of have someone there as a cue to, to clap or to say go, or if you don't have a, a, a super buddy around to help you, just knowing that one, Two, one, two. In the front, that would be one, two, one, two. Moving on from that, we'll go on to the seated arm action posture hold. Um, it's important to move so that you feel the movement and you can psychologically you can get it, but it's also important to stay in the position that you want to optimize. So staying in the position at the top end of the left arm up, for let's say 10 to 20 seconds, and then it would be 10 to 20 seconds on this side, so that you also feel the position, the end position, not just the whole range of motion, but the end position is important as well. So that one's called the seated arm action posture hold. Um, moving on from there, where we can involve the, leg, the legs now, would be a simple marching drill. Um, everything still applies for the arm action, so it's gonna be dollar bills, karate chop, and staying skinny, but this time you're gonna involve opposite leg movement as well. So my right arm's coming up, my left knee's coming up, and opposite. So this would be the linear marching drill. Staying nice and tall, nice and upright. And then to advance that, to progress that to the next level would be a linear marching power skip. So it's the same movement, but adding a little power to it. So it's gonna be starting with the march, and then Thank you.